Hey Fan Adventures, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. This is your glamorous Fanny Pincher Shalomi and today I'm going house hunting. And guess what? I'm taking you along for the ride. So if you wanna see some beautiful houses that I checked out, you know what to do, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so you saw us move all our items from uh, Canada to Georgia. And today we are going to start looking at houses. We are in this absolutely beautiful neighborhood today from a listing we saw online. So we're meeting our realtor here and we're gonna go on inside and check it out. So this beautiful home has uh, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and the curb appeal is just beautiful. It has a two-story foyer upon entering and immediately to the left there is an office. Beautiful space for me to get my work done. The stairs are just to the right upon entering and immediately after the office is this beautiful open concept um, dining room. Absolutely gorge and again walking back we can see from here that the family room is right there guys this kitchen was really big I loved it and I love the idea that you can look at everything from the kitchen the formal dining room the family room here we have the um, Eden kitchen area and to the back there is also an additional space but standing in this kitchen you can overlook everything let's take it all the way upstairs there was also an additional bathroom and a bedroom downstairs on that level but i didn't get a chance to film that now the landing upstairs is huge you can see that it has a couple of desks as well as a huge treadmill lots of space and from there you can look down directly at the front door um, here we are upstairs there is the first beautiful bedroom and the bedrooms in this house they were really big like the sizes were just amazing so there was the first bedroom and right kind of across from it is a second bedroom which again like i said earlier the the room sizes are just bananas like i just love the sizes of these bedrooms so there are two bedrooms there and then this is a third bedroom. The owner is using this one as like a beauty room. Then we enter the master bedroom and lo and behold, it is just absolutely huge and beautiful. It has the tray ceilings, um, just a beautiful space. And then we look around and it has a fireplace. It's like a two-sided fireplace. Then there's a sitting area directly behind that, but it's being used right now as an office space. And honey, the closet was absolutely huge. I was looking in it, just thinking of all the things that I could fill it with. That tickled me so much. I was like, yes, lots of space. I can do so much with this closet. Then coming back out of the closet into that sitting area, a really you know beautiful space that you can make it as cozy as you want to be so the, here's the fireplace from that angle just absolutely gorgeous and then right behind that obviously it's going to be the bathroom the bathroom was very spacious double sinks just everything um, the shower was good and then we walked back and lo and behold we found my husband's closet because you know I wasn't going to share the one up front. He would have been in another room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it was, I was so happy to see that there was a second closet. Now travel with me to house number two. Now this neighborhood was also very beautiful. The houses were like brand new. As a matter of fact, some of them were still under construction. Beautiful, bright neighborhood. Up and entering this home, the formal dining room is immediately to the left. Beautiful with the coffered ceilings. I really liked that. And then to the right, there is another space that we could do as a formal living room or as an office. 
Walking back, you are in the family room and it's an open concept. The kitchen is directly behind the family room. Beautiful space. Now this um, kitchen island was super huge. Like the picture is not doing it, doing it any justice at all. And um, outside, beautiful green. It has a, a small outdoor living space, which I liked. Um, the kitchen, I like that it was white, it was beautiful, and you could just overlook the family room from there and, you know, continue to interact with everyone in the family room while you're cooking. It has a two-car garage and it has, um, like, space on the driveway that you can put maybe two more cars, which was perfect for us. There's a small coat closet here, and if I pan around, we're again looking at the family room. Moving right along, there is a full bathroom downstairs, which I really liked, especially if you have um, overnight guests, because this bathroom is adjacent to a bedroom. So if you have guests um, overnight, everything is downstairs for them. They don't have to worry about coming upstairs to sleep, they have the bathroom directly beside the bedroom. And this is not the master. This is just a guest room on the main floor. Now let's take a look upstairs. This house is smaller than the one that we just looked at, which was house number one. So the rooms are a little bit closer together. So I'm just going to walk down the hall, which also overlooks the front door just like the first one but here I want to start from the very end looking at the bedrooms and work my way back to the stairs this bedroom was a decent side bedroom it has a few windows it's to the front of the house but the closet was a little bit small but overall it was you know just a regular bedroom no bells no whistles which is okay I could have used it as like an office space Beside that, there is a bathroom. And then there is a second bedroom on the other side of the bathroom, which was also a decent sized bedroom with, you know, a big window in the back of it. We also noticed that this has another sitting area upstairs, which is amazing. If you don't want to hang out downstairs, here is a room that you can convert to like a theater room or just a playroom if you have kids. And that was awesome. Across from there, laundry room, which is upstairs, also very convenient that you don't have to trek everything down and back upstairs with the clothes and the hamper. And here is another bedroom with its own bathroom, which was also um, a very, very nice space. Now here's the master bedroom, which was also a good, decent size master bedroom. It had the tray ceilings and the bathroom in this one was beautiful. Again, not as big as the one before. This is a smaller home, but I really loved the colors and the texture and everything about the bathroom. It just felt like home. Absolutely beautiful. The shower was a decent size um, and it was just, you know, really nice. Now the closet, again, directly be uh, beside the bathroom. It was also a decent size closet and um, I just loved the roominess of it. So again, the master bedroom from this angle. Beautiful. Love the double trays in the ceiling. Absolutely gorgeous. It was overall a beautiful home. Now let's look at house number three. This is an older home with some beautiful features. So let's take a look inside. When entering this home, the staircase is right there by the door and you walk back to a two-story family room with these beautiful windows and open concept right into the kitchen 
and this island also was a very big island. I would definitely do some things to this kitchen to make it a little bit brighter, maybe the backsplash, just to wake it up a little bit. But when you turn around, honey, and look into that two-story family room, absolutely beautiful. Now we're going into the dining room, which is really right by the front door. But I guess I walked right by it when I saw those beautiful windows in the family room. Then right across from it, which is also at the front door, is this room that we're entering that I thought would be a formal living room. No, it was the master bedroom or the owner suite. We don't say master bedroom anymore. <laughs> but it was right there by the front door. And walking back, it's the bathroom. Big, beautiful window lets in a lot of light. And directly behind that or beside that is the closet. This is the one of the smaller closets that we've seen, but it was still a good enough space to hold most of my stuff. And then maybe I'd have to put the rest in another bedroom. Now here I am showing you just a shot of the entryway and then we're gonna take it upstairs. Love these beautiful stairs and I love the, um, the railings. I love the wrought iron that they used. Absolutely gorgeous. And at the top of the stairs is this beautiful open area that you could use as, again, an office space, another sitting area. Um, and it overlooks the family room. I just love those windows. Those windows have, you know, they had a hold on me when I was there. But it's beautiful to be able to just look down and see everything that's going on. Loved that. Here we're entering another bedroom upstairs with those big windows, lets in a lot of light and it was a decent size. Walking back, we um, looked at the bathroom that would be shared by the bedrooms upstairs. Again, it's an older home, so there are definitely some upgrades that would have to be done. And there I am fixing my hair and my sister hiding from the cameras as we look at a third bedroom and this one was probably the smallest room in the house and then right across from that was a, another bedroom which has that you know kind of like an attic um, this one was very beautiful very quaint uh, but it was still a good size I loved that room and here's another bathroom. And like I said, we would have to definitely do some upgrades to this place. I am back in one of my favorite spots in the house. It's right overlooking the family room. And from there, we're gonna take it down to the basement, which is partially finished, but you will see the amount of space it has as we go down. So we walk through just a couple of small rooms that are finished um, in the basement, which takes us to the unfinished side. And guys, when I tell you it would not end, is an understatement. The thing I love about this is it's an above ground basement. So it's what we call here like a walkout basement, which has full size doors and you can just walk out into the yard. Okay guys, so that's it um, for now for the house hunting. This is part one. Please make sure you stay tuned for part two that is coming up really, really soon where I have a couple more houses to show you. But thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your presence. I do appreciate you hanging in with me. I do appreciate you coming along with me for the ride. And trust me, there is so much more content to come. If this is your first time seeing my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I truly do appreciate you and would love for you to join the Penny Pincher family by hitting the subscribe button below and make sure you hit that notification bell also that way you are the first to be notified when I have new videos uploaded you don't want to miss anything trust me and to my lovely penny pinchers you know how I feel love you love you love you until the next video this is your glamorous penny pincher Shalomi saying bye bye